Oklahoma's agricultural and food industries have a rich heritage in our state and are a significant portion of our economy. From wheat to cattle, we feed the world. Unfortunately, many of these commodities are currently sent to other states or even other countries for further processing before reaching the consumer's table. However, the Robert M. Kerr Food and Agricultural Products Center, located in Stillwater on the Oklahoma State University campus, is committed to keeping these products, jobs, and dollars in our state. FAPC, established in 1996 through the efforts of the late Senator Robert M. Kerr, provides both small and large businesses with access to professional research and education. Its goal is to stimulate and support growth of value-added agricultural and food processing in Oklahoma. Hi, I'm Jennifer Reynolds. Let's find out how the FAPC can help you. One of the key functions of the Food and Agricultural Products Center is product development. It can be an idea for a brand new item, or maybe an established company wants to expand its product line. Either way, the FAPC has the resources and expertise to help develop these ideas into value-added enterprises for Oklahoma. I'll show you how the FAPC uses its test kitchens, pilot plant, and analytical labs to transform ideas into products. An idea for a new product often starts with a well-loved homemade recipe. But can you just multiply the ingredients for four servings into, say, 400 servings? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. A process called scale up must take place. That's where a food science specialist adapts the original recipe for commercial production. They work here in the FAPC test kitchen to modify the original recipe so it uses standardized units of measure. The pilot plant is another resource available during the scale-up process. The rooms can be configured to simulate different production lines. If larger batches are needed for a test product, they can be made here. The modified recipe is brought here to the test kitchen where it's prepared under simulated real-life conditions. But there is another important step that can take place and that's the taste test, otherwise known as the sensory analysis. It happens right here in the sensory lab. Samples from either the test kitchen or the pilot plant are brought in, placed in the special carousels, ready for taste testing. On the other side, participants trained in sensory evaluation techniques make sure the product has retained its consistency and value. In other words, does it still taste good? Ideas for new products frequently come from established businesses. JM Farms in Miami has been growing mushrooms since 1979. Recently, they had an idea for adding value to their fresh mushrooms. It's a totally new venture for us. Um, you know, we're going from working with um, pretty much a raw, partially processed product to a, a cooked, breaded um, product. It's uh, totally different than what we're doing right now. JM Farms turned to the FAPC for help in developing this new value-added product. So where do you get breading? Um, what is the procedure? What kind of equipment do you need? Um, and FAPC was able to help us with all of that. The FAPC can be a one-stop shop for businesses and producers needing some help creating a new value-added product. For example, specialists helped JM Farms find resources for breading, decide what kind of equipment to use, and finally determine a price for the new product. Sometimes product development gets down to the molecular level. That's when a client may need the services of the FAPC Analytical Chemistry Lab. For example, any new food product is required to have a nutritional label, and that's a job for specialists in the analytical chemistry lab. Besides nutrition labels, there are other regulatory and food safety issues which food manufacturers must comply with. That's why Enid-based Advanced Food Company uses the FAPC lab. Well, we don't have an analytical laboratory, so it's nice to have um, access um, to the university's services in that regard. The two most recent projects were 
a trans fatty acid project, and also sensory evaluation and oxidative rancidity testing. Other services provided by the analytical lab include instrumental analysis, developing methods, procedures, and analytical services for research projects, and determining the chemical composition of foods. Analytical chemists can also work as food detectives. For example, they solved a mystery that had been baffling a small independent meat processor. Gary Crane of Ralph's Packing Company describes an angry phone call from a steady customer. One time we had some ground beef show up. The customer called us and said this ground beef, they told us, they accused us of putting too much red dye in our ground beef. Well, you don't put red dye in ground beef. Gary contacted the FAPC and they responded immediately. Which they did, they came straight down here. We had like five pounds of this meat that you could see the red in, it's a very bright red. Of course they started analyzing it immediately to see if they could determine the source of this particular dye. The research chemists found good news for Gary. After doing all the evaluation, the FAPC doing all the evaluation that they did, and that's when we were able to determine that the red dye did not even originate in our facility. The red dye was identified as a marker ink that originated at the customer's facility, not at Ralph's Packing Company. Whether you're an entrepreneur or you have an established business, the Food and Agricultural Products Center is ready to help with any product development ideas you may have. I encourage anybody that is even thinking about, you know, working with FAPC to give them a call and, and see everything that they could do for them. The reward is so great if we can be a, a state that has a lot of strong value-added companies, and, and I think the center has a huge role to play in that. I know they've created a lot of jobs in the time that they've been there. I, I don't know how many, but I do know that we would not have as many people working in the ag industry in Oklahoma if it had not been for research done by the FAPC. And I believe that. If you have a product you'd like to develop or you want to know more about services offered by FAPC, call 405-744-6071 or go to fapc.biz.